Nightwing, issue 102. Tom Taylor writing with Travis Moore on the art. So this is a... Uh, Continuing the, the cliffhanger last time, which was this shapeshifter is mm -hmm. knocked out Nightwing in the morgue and is trying to get to the girl that Blockbuster, or Blockbuster's yeah. daughter, so the demon monster, Neron, whatever his name is. Yeah. And that's kind of where we pick up. Uh, honestly, I was kind of shocked with how quickly, like, the characters are just kind of figuring it out. Like, immediately yeah. Nightwing wakes up and he's like, hey, Babs, tell the Titans something funny's going on. Uh -huh. And... I think from from the meat locker, right? From the, yeah. the drawer at the morgue office. <clears throat> but as soon as we actually spend, you know, 10 seconds with the guy, the shapeshifter, we're like, oh yeah, he knows nothing. He'd have been rumbled immediately anyway. Oh, for yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, like, you know, the girl goes with him, and as soon as, like, the real Nightwing shows up, and the, the evil one tries to be like, no, I'm the real Nightwing, he's the imposter, and immediately Dick just goes, what's the name of my dog? <laughs> and he goes, ah, oh, hell. <laughs> like, yeah. like, yeah. You could have done the most basic level of research, right? This yeah. is not asking yeah. some obscure question about your second year in high school. Right? This is, yeah. <laughs> like, fundamentals. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So he, he didn't even know that Dick doesn't actually have any powers. Right? Yes, he was surprised by that, yeah. yeah. Uh, whereas this guy He's obviously... just a guy in a tight suit. <laughs> yeah. whereas this guy obviously does have powers at the very least the shifting powers uh, mm -hmm. but uh, seemingly so does uh, the girl he's got, he's got strength and flight as well he, has, yeah, he flies later on yeah uh, but uh, the little girl punches him in the back uh, yep. and oh yeah she seems to have some powers from her, her heritage as well um, yeah. so yeah I mean this is quite a big chunk of the issue he tries to fly off with her uh, but of course he, he doesn't get very far because like Starfire, Raven and Cyborg are just kind of waiting in the sky mm -hmm. for him so, uh, it's a pretty straightforward issue. Uh, it's quite light, although he does throw the girl away, which did make me laugh, maybe because I've got a yeah. dark sense of humour. Yeah, uh, yeah no, like, it... he's, he's like, are you not going to go and, like, catch her? And they're like, no, no, no we're yeah. good. No, we've got yeah. at least one more flyer in the team, it's fine. Uh, yeah. So, you know, Donna shows up. Donna with, with the save, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... I did like the art, though. Uh, once he lands after getting blasted out of the sky, and his, like, body starts shifting back to whatever weird, demonic-looking yeah. figure he actually I... has. I like that. I do like he looks super creepy, like as the grinning man, right? Because uh, that was the name that was kind of hinted at in the last issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does have this big cartoony. It's not Joker esque, right? Because it is like his mouth is like physically bigger than the rest of. Well, his he head. also doesn't have just... any other facial features. It's just like no, you know. Just a creepy... I know uh, you guys haven't been reading Nocturnal, um, mm -hmm. but it's very the design is very reminiscent of a uh, Black Dot Bill in that. Oh, just, okay. with the, we'll just add on the grin. Gotcha. So yeah, he's very, like, I wouldn't say demonic, but but, but like, he's very different. Like, there, there's a sinister vibe to that smile. Yeah, you know? and, you know, I don't think any of us were worried about uh, Taylor's new Titans book. I think we were all excited yeah. for it, because, like, it makes sense. But I, I think this, this issue really sets up, like, much like he's done with Dick, the fact that Raven feels personally kind of angered by, like, mm -hmm. what's going on here because this girl's, like, you know, this demonic father is coming after her, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's personal for her, right? And that comes up and she's, like, pissed and ready to go to war for it. Well, so. yeah, because she's, she's like, caught in this politics of hell, you know, that, that she has nothing to do with. And that I, I like that one of the Titans questions, like, Blockbuster's really the type of guy to sell his kid's soul? And, like, oh, yeah, who are we dealing with? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's one of those things. Yeah, but I, I just, I like that because it was like, okay, you're tying into like the, the core stories of like New Teen Titans by like bringing this stuff up. And, uh, you know, maybe, you know, like a lot of team books, maybe there'll be an arc that focuses more on Raven's like character mm -hmm. arc. Maybe there'll be one that focuses more on Starfire, yeah. so on and so on. And it makes a lot of sense to do that, probably for everyone but Dick, just because, you know, he's already writing a Dick book. He has his book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he can be the leader, but everyone else gets their other time. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's really neat. Um, I did kind of like the, the little backstory for the Grinning Man here, which was uh, mm -hmm. he actually tried to just be a guy who put on disguises before. He tried to rob a bank by just claiming to be Superman. <laughs> yeah. And did a really bad job of it. Yeah. Well, There's something evil that, like... in your vault. I have to go and check it. <laughs> Let me in. Yeah, just the <laughs> idea that Superman would rob a bank on top of it. Like, just walk in and, and you know, ask to see the inside. It was worth uh, a try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the nose... The nose is too big. I just love the know. audacity of it. I, I, yeah. it, it cracks me up. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, uh, they're basically forming this plan to, quote-unquote, uh, steal the contract for this uh, selling the soul of the girl out mm -hmm. of the failing cabinet in hell. 
Yep. That's the plan. Yeah, Gar kind of says it jokingly, oh, what do we do? Just steal the file on the cabinet. And mm-hmm. everyone's like, yeah. Revan's like, Revan's like, yeah. And like, we, we can do yeah. that. Uh, that was sarcasm. The, uh, well, that's the thing. Like, she yeah. says, yeah, and then everyone starts forming the plans. Okay, we'll do this thing. We'll do that thing. And Gar's like, well, well, guys, <laughs> I was joking. Please. Heavy We're really sarcasm. not going to hell. <laughs> like, no, we, we are. Yeah. Uh, so which which gave me my line of the week, probably. Is the hell heist. Oh, hell heist, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, Hell Heist is a better name. And mm-hmm. that's uh, that's basically the issue. It ends with them sort of making this plan. I, you know, I I like this issue, and I think it mm-hmm. is more of a setup issue. I think it's set up a lot of good stuff for next time that I'm really excited for. There's, yeah. But there's good moments. The the fighting. I think the Green Man having this much character, and even when he's still looking like Dick, you get a lot of personality from him. Yeah. Uh, just from like the way he realizes so, things. So, this is what I'm so confused about. Did he kill the king of Latava and then take his place as the yes. shapeshifter? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. And then he brought. They mentioned uh, in the last issue that I think it was the last issue that the uh, the king had been dead for like two weeks, but right. he'd been seen in the country like two days ago. Okay. So okay. He was so then then he it. took that dead body and and put it under Titan's rubble. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how he is did that, that. His powers don't seem to blend. Or is that? that. Or was that him? And as soon as they got him onto the, he, he shape drifted into Nightwing. It was him, yeah, because yeah, that's, that's when he took yeah. over the Nightwing. He got yeah. in the morgue. Right, right. So okay, yeah. just making sure I follow everything, just because, because it yeah. was, you know. But uh, yeah, uh, the I like the the art a whole lot too. I think Moore is really good at drawing the Titans. Um, you know, his Beast Boy, Starfire, even his his Cyborg, they all feel like they're from the you know Wolfman and Perez era. Like they have that kind of vibe, but also modernized. Moore's so... doing the the Titans book, right? Yes. No. 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 no Nicole, Nicole Scott. Scott is. Oh, so Scott. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Presumably oh, well, still swapping between Moore and Redondo on this book, I still I assume. Mm-hmm. But so, yeah. But yeah, I just they feel they you know his Titans feel like they're classics, and it kind of kind of in that same way when uh, when Moore draws things, you know, it feels like that Silver Agey. This feels like more of that, you know, pre-crisis Titans. Yeah, but with the changes yeah. that make sense, like, you know, Wally's in his Flash mm-hmm. outfit, because obviously, yeah. it's, you know, Nightwing's in his modern Nightwing outfit. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. And it doesn't really feel like it betrays, it still feels like the team, because no. despite right. the fact that when the team started, it was Robin and Kid Flash, mm-hmm. you know, those, those evolutions still make a lot of yeah. sense. <laughs> really, the only suit that's kind of still the same is Donna's, right? Like, in, uh, you know, well, she's still wearing that black. That's not true, because when uh, it started, she had a red suit, if I remember correctly. Was she not? Was she not in the star China suit by the time Nightwing was running around? I'm not talking like 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 Teen Titans, Teen Titans. I'm talking about like the all new Teen Titans era when Beast Boy and and Raven and them showed up. Was she in the red one still? Yeah, the start of new Teen Titans when this team formed. I'm sure she was still in the red suit. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, I think so. Anyway, either way, I, either way, my praise still stands. It, it is modernized yet feels classic. I mean, if, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, she was already in a black suit, then fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I yeah. seem to recall her being in a red suit still. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, solid, solid issue. Um, it's, uh, but it, it, this almost sounds like it's a negative, but it's not really. It's just, yeah, it's not as much of a standout issue as some of these other issues have been recently on Nightwing. It's just, yeah. it's a fine yeah. issue setting up the next one and doing some character stuff. It's very much it. Like, I, I, I suspect I'll feel that way about a lot of this arc in that it's, it's a transitionary arc in mm. that it's kind of setting up another book. And I'm sure that book will be very good as well. Yeah, because obviously uh, next arc we'll get back to Heartless probably and it'll feel like we're... Well, we've got the uh, the gimmick issue first, right? Which uh, I don't say that are the bad things. Obviously the last yeah. gimmick issue was great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I compared that to yeah. Mr. Robot when that we got that news of that yeah. issue. Is that the no, Wings yeah. of Run keeps doing issues kind of like how Mr. Robot did. You know, the one take episode, the silent episode, the you know, they had these... Yeah, compared to that, or, I don't know, Community. Community, yeah, Community is another good example. That they had the... Ah, that's a reference I understand. <laughs> Congratulations, Matt. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, all right, Matt, what are you rating uh, Nightwing 102? Uh, I'm also, I'm giving this also an 8.5. Connor? Uh, I'm going to give it a straight 8. Yep, I'll also give it a straight 8. Uh, very good.